Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in an Audi Quattro 20 valve. Next to me is an Audi Sport Quattro Group B rally car. Next to that is a road game version, the Audi Sport Quattro. Next to that is an Audi RS2 Avant. And next to that is an Audi S2 Coupe. And we're gonna have a drag race to celebrate 45 years of Audi's famous five-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine. Yes, the engine that goes in the modern day RS3. But these cars I have here are all the RS3's ancestors. So let me tell you about this 20 valve Quattro. So this is a car from 1989 and underneath its bonnet is a 2.2 litre five cylinder turbo petrol. It puts out 220 horsepower and 309 newton meters of torque. Drives all four wheels via a five speed manual gearbox. And this car weighs in at 1.4 tonnes. Costs about 50,000 pounds if you want one of these today. It's cheap when you compare it to that Group B rally car. That is actually insured for 1.7 million pounds. It's the very car that Stig Blomqvist drove and Walter Roll actually rolled. A roll roll. Anyway, underneath its bonnet is a 2.1 litre five cylinder turbocharged petrol engine with 500 horsepower and 480 newton meters of torque, driving all four wheels via a six speed manual gearbox. Obviously, being a racing car, it's quite light, weighs in at just under 1.1 tonnes. So, that car is from 1985, and so is the road going Sport Quattro next to it. That has a 2.1 litre five cylinder turbocharged petrol engine, you get the idea, with 306 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque, driving all four wheels via a five-speed manual gearbox. Now, that car weighs in at just under 1.3 tonnes, so it's 100 kilos lighter than this 20-valve model. It's also worth a lot more money as well. Today, the value of that is £275,000. Next to that is an Audi RS2 Avant from 1996. It has a 2.2-litre five-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine with 315 horsepower and 409 newton meters of torque. It drives all four wheels via a six-speed manual gearbox, and that car weighs in at just under 1.6 tonnes. As for the value of that today, talking around £65,000. Finally, we come to the Audi S2 Coupe, which is also from 1996. It has a 2.2-litre turbocharged five-cylinder engine with 230 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque, driving all four wheels via a six-speed manual gearbox. It weighs in at just over 1.5 tonnes, and the value of that today is about 20 25,000 pounds. If all those stats are a little bit confusing, then pause the video. Now, which of these cars would you prefer? Let me know in the comments below by voting in the pinned comment. Also, if you haven't done so already and you like these kind of videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Let's do it. Buy, sell, car, wow. Now, before we start this drag race, let's do the customary car wire sound check. And I'm going to start by revving up this old Quattro 20 valve. So here we go. No soft limiters on Audi's back in the 1980s. And there's no petrol particulate filters or catalytic converters, I don't think, either. Oh, yes, fumes, fumes. Anyway, let's have a listen to that Group B rally car. Go on, rev up the rally car. Let's have a listen to the Sport Quattro. And now for the S2 Coupe. And finally, last but not least, the RS2 Avant. There we go. Now you might be thinking, love the sound of those engines. I'd like a modern day equivalent. Well, just get yourself an RS3. And if you're thinking about buying that or any new car for that matter, you need to check out CarWow. Make sure you pay a fair price. You can see all the latest deals and that on a wide range of cars. Also, if you're thinking about selling your car, you can do it through CarWow. And our dealers will bid on your car to make sure you get a great price for it. And I'll come to your house and take the car away, put the money straight in your account. It's dead easy. If you want to do that now, click on the pop-out banner up there. Follow the link in the description below. Alternatively, at a later date, just simply Google Help Me CarWow and we will help you sell your car and then buy your perfect new car at a great price. Right. Let's race. Three, two, one. Oh. oh, that Sport Quattro is ahead though. Oh, here comes the rally car now. He had a crap start, but he's off now. That Sport Quattro is absolutely flying and I have no idea what has happened to the RS2.
That Sport Quattro is mental quick. I can't believe how quick it is. I mean, what, what the hell? Nice launch, but wow. How is it driving it? It's just magic. It's so cool. It's so analog. You just have to do everything right. It's awesome. So Steve from Audi Heritage, thank you very much for bringing along your Group B rally car. What happened to your launch? Just giving it siblings a bit of a chance. <laughs> Once you actually bothered to launch it, the thing flew. Let everyone else have a wee look first. Yeah, okay, yeah. RS2, um, please explain what happened. That was just a terrible launch on my part. Bogged down, straight off the line, and then couldn't catch up. It was dreadful. It was absolutely dreadful. Good launch. And the rally car went so close between me and the Sport Quattro, but now he's pulling. RS2 again, not great. Come on, Quattro! Wow, I'm not going to do much better than that. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Great launch from the rally car. I got a great launch. It's quite close to the Sport Quattro for the very first part, but then, yeah, that just pulled away. It's just a little bit more power in there. That's all that's in that. Good launch on that, well done. Thank you. RS2, how was your launch? Bogged again. So that car just bogs down. Well, you know, we probably can't keep battering these old cars. Let's move on. But before that, you know what's coming now. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Quattro rally car won, completing the standing quarter mile in 12.2 seconds. The Sport Quattro was second in 14.2 seconds. The S2 finished third in 14.9 seconds, and the Quattro 20 valve was fourth, taking 15.3 seconds. The RS2 was last, completing the standing quarter mile in 16.6 seconds. Okay, now you have a rolling race from 30 miles an hour, starting in second gear. So I'm going to count this in. Unfortunately, Steve in the Group B rally car can't really hear us, but that's his own fault for having no sound insulation. So here we go anyway. He'll have to just try and keep up. Three, two, one, go. This picks up so well. Quicker than the Sport Quattro, but look at him go now. It's really interesting how this is pulling on the RS2. In fact, the S2 destroying the RS2. Yeah, that's the half mile there. Sport Quattro. I have you on the initial pickup, but then, yeah, you can pass. Yeah, I think my bigger turbo's got bigger lag, I guess. Question though, RS2, I mean, the launch you struggled with, and even the rolling race, you know, you're supposed to have quite a bit more horsepower than this car. What's going on? No idea what's going on, because like all of you are pulling away from me, even in the rolling race, without a launch. It's very odd. I think Audi Heritage needs to have a look at the engine in that RS2 and see what, what's happened. Maybe that's what happens when you let Porsche meddle with your stuff. Maybe Porsche down-tuned it so it didn't beat the Porsche 911. Hmm, I wonder. Probably not. Definitely not. Same thing again, though, this time from 50 miles an hour and starting in third gear. See what happens this time. See if the Sport Quattro's turbo lags even more. Okay, you ready, guys? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, yes! Come on! Oh! RS2 doing better now, apart from the gear change. Okay, 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 okay. Played out pretty much the same, though. I kept that Sport Quattro behind me for a little bit longer. I think you're in a whole hole of turbo lag, weren't you? That was so much fun. I knew so many good things were about to happen. <laughs> I was waiting for it. It was awesome. And happened they did. RS2 seemed a little bit better that time. Picked up a bit better, but then again, same thing happened. Everything just came flying past. I'll tell you what surprises me. So that S2 Coupe, it has not much more horsepower than this, but it absolutely flies, doesn't it? It does so well, considering it's a little bit heavier as well. And I think 
I get to 100, and then I tear past you. I don't know what happens. I guess, you know, 90s versus 80s tech, it just finds the extra power. Yeah. <laughs> I concur. Although, of course, the RS2 is 90s tech as well. Nice 911, 993 door mirrors. I recognise those. That's what happens, you see, when Porsche work with Audi, they put bits of their car on the Audi car. Boring! Finally then, we're going to have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. When it's line full emergency stop. If you'd rather watch another drag race instead, click on the pop-out banner up there, follow the link in the description below. Now I'm a little bit worried about this because the brake pedal on this car is rather long. So I'm not sure how it's going to play out. Here we go, here comes the line now. Oh, it was close, but he beat me. Okay, Sam, in the Sport Quattro, I could see your face. Like, is he going to stop in a short distance? Oh my God, then the, the satisfaction when you knew that wasn't actually going to play out that way. I think I won. Yeah, that's what I was just saying, you won. But I think we absolutely destroyed the other cars. Yeah, we won. That's the better way of saying it. We definitely won. But there is one thing that I really, really, really want to do. And I'm just going to get and do it now. Bear with me. Hi Steve. Hello. Steve from Audi. I just want a little go in this. That's all right. Would you mind just giving us a quick spin? Oh, I hate these racing harnesses. I'm just going to do a cheeky little, where is it? Like my own version of a normal seatbelt harness. Don't crash. Try not to. 12 seconds later. <laughs> enjoyed this video you want more like this make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on huge thanks to steve and audi heritage for lending us these cars to play with and if you want to see a great deal on audi that i found through car wow click on the pop out banner up there for the link in the description below to see what the car is and what the saving is anyway i hope you all enjoyed the video as much as i did if you did give it a like if you want to watch more videos click there click on that box there to go to car wow see you next time